So Spotify have joined. <laughs> so Spotify have joined the audiobook game. But what does this actually mean for someone who's just looking to get their audiobooks? Are they included with a subscription? Can you access them from your app? Do they actually have good books available? And how do they compare with other services offering audiobooks like Audible or Apple Books? Well, let's talk about all of this. So let's run over the basics first. Spotify currently have over 350,000 titles in their audiobook library. Now to add a little comparison, Audible has over 400,000, but Apple Books only has just over 100,000 audiobooks. So considering Spotify are newer to audiobooks, they do have a really good amount of them. Currently, Spotify audiobooks is only available in a few countries. I will put them on the screen here so that you can see, but they have said that they are going to increase that as they're able to grow their audiobook service. Next, and very importantly, audiobooks are not included with an existing Spotify subscription that you have. Audiobooks are on top of the subscription you already pay, and you just pay for them once off, the same way you would if you went and purchased a book. You just pay for the book as and when you want it. Our actual catalogue of books is really, really good. I've done some quick searches for books I would be interested in across different decades, different genres of books, and they do have a really, really good selection. Nothing that I was looking for that I couldn't find. Okay, access to Spotify audiobooks. So currently, audiobooks can only be purchased through Spotify web player and not through the app on your phone or portable device. However, once you have purchased it through the web, it will come onto your app and you will be able to listen to it from, say, your phone, your iPad, whatever it may be. And this is really similar to how Audible used to work. If anyone used Audible a few years ago, when I did my first video on Audible, which was like two or three years ago now, this is how it worked with Audible too, where you'd have to go on to the web version of Amazon to purchase the audiobook before you could listen to it in the Audible app. Well, that is basically how Spotify is currently working it. The process of buying the audiobook is actually really simple and straightforward. You just head to the web player, go to their audiobook section and choose the audiobook that you want. You you click buy and enter your payment details and once you have purchased that book it will show up in your library on the app and it's also important to note that payment is not taken from the card associated with your Spotify account so if you have a Spotify subscription already they're not automatically going to take payment for audiobooks through that card another important point is that if you have a family subscription or a couple subscription it is only you that will receive the audiobook so if you buy an audiobook you're buying it personally for yourself and not for your whole family if you're on a family or partner subscription. Okay, let's talk about price, everyone's favorite topic. So as I mentioned, you have to pay for these audiobooks individually. So depending on the price of the audiobook, that's what you pay. It's pay as you go. And titles seem to cost anywhere between about £7 and £20, but this totally depends on the age of the book, the length of the book, the author of the book, and also the retail price of the book. And this is similar to both Audible and Apple Books. There are also a number of free releases. Hallelujah, everyone loves free stuff. There are about 20 free titles on there at the minute and they do change them every so often. So you can get some books for free. Typically, they're never books I've ever heard of or have on my want to read list, but you never know, you could find a little hidden gem. And there are also samples of each of the books that you can try before you buy, usually between like one minute and five minutes long. And this is good for like testing out the narration because some people's narration style is not really what you like. If you want more information on audiobooks I recommend you check out these videos here so that you can find out a little bit more about both Audible and Apple Books. Please like this video if you find it helpful, comment down below what you think about Spotify audiobooks and have you used it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future and I'll see you all in the next one.